Hello everyone. Today I want to apply conservation of momentum to find the momentum function or specific force. We consider that we have a steady flow of uncompressible liquid in a channel and the channel is prismatic and there is no lateral inflow or outflow. And we designated subscripts 1 and 2 for section 1 and 2. Time rate of mass inflow at section 1 equal to gamma over g multiply flow rate. Gamma is specific weight of liquid, V1 is a mean flow velocity at section 1. Then the time rate of momentum inflow at section 1 equal to gamma over G beta 1 Q V sub 1, in which beta 1 is a momentum coefficient introduces, introduce it to account for the non-uniform velocity distribution. Similarly, for section 2, time rate of momentum outflow equal to gamma over G beta sub 2 Q V sub 2. The change of uh, momentum or time rate of increase of momentum equal to gamma over G Q in bracket beta, beta sub 2 V sub 2 minus beta sub 1 V sub 1. The following forces acting on the volume of water between section 1 and 2. First one, pressure force at, sec at section 1 which equal to gamma Z bar sub 1 A sub 1. And pressure force at section 2 in this direction uh, equal to gamma Z bar sub 2 A2, where Z bar is the depth of centroid flow area A. Component of the weight of liquid between section 1 and 2 is equal to W th sine theta because the channel is inclined with angle theta. W weight of the volume of liquid between section 1 and, and 2 and theta is the slope of the bottom channel. The external force due to shearing force between the liquid and the channel side is designated by F sub E. Then the resultant force F sub R acting on the volume of liquid in the downstream direction is F sub R equal to gamma Z bar sub 1 multiply A sub 1. That is the uh, pressure force in the direction of flow. Minus gamma Z bar sub 2 multiply A2. That is the pressure force opposite to the flow and W sine theta the component of weight in the direction of flow and the friction force uh, opposite to the flow. According to the Newton's second law of motion the time rate of change of momentum of the liquid volume is equal to the resultant of the external forces acting on the liquid volume. So that's the time rate of changing of momentum equal to the resultant of the external forces acting on the liquid of the volume is the volume of the liquid between section 1 and 2. Since gamma equal to rho g, we obtain this equation. Then, if we assume that the channel is horizontal and smooth, equation become. When the channel is horizontal, we don't have this force, W sine theta. And if, a smooth, uh, if the channel is smooth, so there is no friction between the water and the sides of the channel so this one will be zero the this equation change it to this one you see we have rho here 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 and here so they cancel each other the equation will be q2 v2 minus q1 v1 equal to g a1 z bar 1 minus g a sub 2 z bar sub 2 a little arranging we get this equation Q sub 1 V sub 1 plus G A sub 1 Z bar sub 1 equal to Q2 V2 plus G A sub 2 Z bar sub 2. Arranging more, we get this equation. By dividing uh, all the equation by G, we get this one. And also more simplification, since V equal to QA, and from the continuity equation q1 equal to q2 equal to q so this equation become that is the conservation of momentum also since right side right side and left side is equal we can write the equation like this fs equal to q square over ga plus z bar multiply a where fs is referred to the specific force or momentum function. In the next tutorial, we solve some problems about specific force or momentum function.
That's all. I hope it can be helpful. Have a nice time.